Hey, I am David for Big Bits. In this video, we've got a couple of minor updates really to Trading View, a couple of blog posts where you can always check out. If you go to the uh, little collapsible menu here on Trading View, you can go to What's New. It'll give you a pop up. There should be a uh, badge notification up here if there's new items since the last time you came. But anyway, these are just blog posts. We go over these from time to time whenever there's new ones. Here on TradingView, there's a new tool that was added as a drawing tool, so no new pine code updates in this particular video. But uh, there is some pine content. We are going to talk about uh, Pine Wizards nominees. That was one of the blog posts, but this is going to be really simple. Uh, hopefully this is a fairly short video. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first item that they have added is a customizable price label to the chart, and you can actually see uh, well, it's a little bit harder to see uh, for whatever reason. They don't have this thumbnail that's something you can zoom in on. But see, this is a price label. And you can see you have two points. There's an anchor point here, which goes to the price. Hopefully, you're able to see this all right. And then you have another anchor point, which basically keeps the price at that particular spot. And it looks like you can have a custom note, and it will automatically fill in the price for you. You can see you can add this in. This is under the text area on your menu. I'll show you how to do this in just a moment. Kind of tells you what to do here and we should be able to go into the settings and change some of the stuff with it. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this one. But before I zoom in, I want you to see the menu. I've already got it pulled up over here, but this is what you should see on the menu when you first have it pulled up. So expand the text area here. Scroll down to price note, which is the new item. Go up here on our Bitcoin chart. Let's see where the bottom of this dip was here a couple of days ago. There we go. That price was 45850 or at least close to it. And you can see it automatically filled in that price for me. Let's see what kind of options we actually have with our price note here. So of course, we can automatically change the coordinates. So let's line this up exactly with the low from that particular time frame. That was, well, we actually did hit the low. Let's uh, set it to the close, which was let's see, 46,982. Not gonna worry about the decimal places. That's completely fine. You can see it changed that to where the low is and we have that here let's pull up our settings once again change our style just a little bit make this red so that we can kind of show you that we are highlighting the low of course you can change this however you need to Change our font size, make it a little bit bigger. See the low price, we're pointing that out. You can change the line color. Uh, let's also make that one red as well. And then we can also add some text here where we have to click show text. And change the color of our text. Let's also make it red since it's going to be going above the black background of my chart. Which, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, I did kind of modify some of the colors on my chart. So that uh, it's a little bit more appealing for me. But let's say low on bar. So, whoa, excuse me. What happens when you zoom in like this? So there we go. You can see this label. There's some text alignment. We are on the top of it. Um, so this will align it left, center, and right based on the line itself. Uh, do middle here. You can see it kind of looks like a strike through now since it's going through the line. Put it on the bottom, and there you go. That's that's pretty much all the options you have here on this one. And of course, you also have the visibility, which is kind of interesting. So keep an eye on that. But yeah, price note. Pretty simple little uh, tool here that you can add on there. But the, some decent functionality in the sense that you can actually have it automatically show you the price without you having to type that information. So it's a little, little handy. And of course you can see, you can specify exactly where things go. Let's do this. So now 
looks even different now. Very simple, but a very nice tool, all the same, in my opinion. All right, so that's going to cover that one again. You can always go back and you can watch the video again if you need to, or you can always just check out their blog post to get some more information in. And you can see, it looks like you can even add a little emoji in there in the text if you wanted to. Uh, these types of things are really good for posting and publishing ideas on TradingView, or maybe even when you're doing a script. Although, when you do the scripts, they kind of like you to. Uh, basically just show the indicator and nothing else. So this is gonna be something that you can use for posting ideas and pointing out price at specific points and maybe adding a little bit of flavor with some text as well. All right, the other item that they had were their Pine Wizards nominees for 2021. And these are just basically people who are really, really good with Pine, uh, even more so than myself. I will probably freely admit that they are much better than me. Uh, I have a decent uh, bit of experience with Pine and the fact that I do these tutorials with you here on the channel, but uh, I'm not in Pine constantly uh, the way I could be. And a lot of these people have a lot more experience with finance, um, more experience even somehow with technical analysis, and then also with coding as well. And they just combine these things and do a really good job. Uh, they have some very popular scripts as well. You can always check out their profiles. And of course, you can always go back and you can check out my profile it's in the description of the video. You can also, if you're interested in signing up for the premium uh, plan on TradingView, use my referral link there. You'll get $30 worth of credits towards your next payment, and I think I will as well. Um, but that's going to be it for this particular video. I appreciate all of you all watching. It's a pretty simple video, pretty straightforward, but fairly informational in my opinion. But if you could, and you've watched this far, hopefully you've liked the video and you'll actually go down and actually like the video on YouTube. While you're down there, since you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. You get other videos that are similar to this one, similar update videos and time code tutorial videos. And we also cover some other things like crypto and such, but go ahead, subscribe, and uh, hopefully you'll be here for some of the other videos we do here soon. But that's it for now. Thanks, guys. I uh, hope you all have a great day.